My name is Puck. How are you doing? Today I'm going to talk about the most beautiful Linux distribution out there that you can get. Well, let me say the two most beautiful uh, Linux distributions you can get out there um, and most stable one and most customizable ones. Today I'm going to talk about Linux Mint 18 Mate desktop and the Ubuntu made desktop here you can see it already ubuntu plus mate plus love is ubuntu mate all right but it's also apple and windows well not really but for the eye the mate desktop is very very customizable and you know i spoke a while ago about all these annoying things going on you know um, in Linux world that we are downloading stuff and then it's not really compatible with our machines or we don't have enough power or they just look horrible and to me you know it was uh, kind of a mission to let Linux race you know let it race so I started making all these videos weekly videos of the distros coming out I was also rating them and I was encouraging um, the, the, the makers, the developers, to use more color, to make it more beautiful, to, you know, just use these colors. They are all there, you know, make it colorful. Be, don't be scared to change the icon, you know, go for it. And in fact, when I installed Linux Mint 18, to me, everything still looked the same until I went and play with the system and found out that Linux Mint um, also created, in fact, they updated their dark team and the dark team updated in a way uh, that it also change, uh, changes the icons in your start menu. So suddenly you have all these beautiful icons. I was like, wow. Linux Mint, what did you guys do? You know? Wow, fantastic! I was, I could almost jump in the air from happiness because at the same time, we also tested Ubuntu 16.04 Beta Mate and we found out that these things are not there. And also we found out that uh, some changes that I add to my, I call it the Puck OS 10 mod. You know, it's a mod that everybody can do. You know, it's a mod that 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 you don't have to have no no know how. Only thing you have to do is click point and boom, it's done. You know, that's the power of Mate. Well, some guys left a while ago when I said the power is 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 that so powerful that you can do that? Yes, I think it's very powerful that a user. Or maybe a company can use a stable version of Linux and also change certain important parts into for instance the company parts you know the logo of the company as a start menu or icons that are you know representing the company for instance it's all possible it's really all possible so let me not talk too long let's jump into the computer um, I have it right here in front of me, so let's go for it. Okay, there we are, my friends. Welcome in my Linux Mate 18 desktop with the Puck OS 10 mod. <laughs> well, that mod is uh, a mod that everyone can 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 kind of do. Only thing you need to be able to do is click and you know point to some beautiful icon you can see uh, a nice system here uh, also the desktop is representing some some Apple icons <clears throat> we're gonna take a quick look at uh, the system itself the team that I'm using is the iDark team of um, 
of Ubuntu 18 and immediately you can see all the colors popping out of the system really beautiful 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 and uh, I can see that somebody there saw probably one of my videos where I kind of pimped up a Linux system and where I encouraged the developers to do even more with colors and I did that with all the Linux developers I encouraged them yo hey you guys um, come on uh, use more colors because the system looks really good so here we're looking at some apps you can see uh, we have mix we have a video player we have a music player and this is to kind of um, edit audio and to remaster it so there are some tools out there that uh, are kind of impressing but don't forget don't 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 just think that because this is Linux you, you can do this with every old computer this is an old computer this is the Intel uh, Celeron processor uh, I think 1600 megahertz is no big deal it's a Pentium mobile M processor we have uh, two gigabytes on board this is a rhythm box what you're looking at it's uh, yeah updated everything works uh, no 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 this is Benchy player by the way and in Benchy you can also go ahead and find all sorts of video content and some of the some of them are creative commons so you can use it in your projects there's even a lot of music out there creative Commons, that you can download and listen there's also other music that is not creative common but that you can also download so yeah it's really kind of cool okay so I found that Banshee uh, is also a, a player that will always be in 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 my in my in my Linux uh, distribution, my Linux operating system. And you can see lots of music. I cannot play it, so you will not hear it. But uh, I can tell you, good quality, good sounds, uh, and it's completely free. That's the best part of it. It's completely free, just like the operating system okay so you can download this install it on any machine and know if you download it it won't immediately look like this you will have to do some little changes just like the apple orb that you see there on top i changed it the text i put it in there you know uh, the, the the bar at the bottom that is a toolbar i added another toolbar and i could easily uh, mod it a bit to make it look fantastic you can see that we can even find videos in uh, in the Banshee player and uh, yeah for those that want to look at old videos you know from the past and uh, some collector's items from before you will find them here because they are all stored at the archive.com so this or .org website so this is really nice um, to download something simply click on top go to uh, go to the website and from there you can download each and every file so yeah I think I showed enough about Banshee these are some more songs that you can uh, kind of download and listen they will play straight off your computer if you're connected to the internet so that is kind of I, I find that a good deal okay I like that great job So many sections, so many things you can look for. I even found Laurel and Hardy. Anyway, enough of Benji. We take uh, another look there, and you can see the icons. They are they are nicer. They are nice. It's really inviting you to go and discover it, whatever it is. Colors they do so much. You wouldn't say it. You know, um, you can have a nice car, but if it's not painted nice and it doesn't have these little thingies then in fact yeah it's not really uh, that while it can be a real good car here we are in the rhythm box player in the rhythm box you will find radio stations you can listen to the news you can listen to trends you can listen to all sorts of music completely free of course you can also download podcast you can download a, a complete bunch hours of podcasts you can download in in no time you will it, it will be on your hard drive and then you can burn cds of it or you know do whatever you want with it 
So that's kind of cool. So Linux Mint is not only giving you an operating system, it's also giving you tools to immediately get started. You can also um, go to the store. You know, we also have a store, but I'm going to show that in a second. First, going to show you a little bit more around in the system. But we have a store where we can also download all sorts of stuff. So this thing has a built-in store. Um, you know, Ubuntu Linux was the first that had its own built-in store. That's from way the back, way I think somewhere in 2000, 2006, 7, 8, I think it was, I can't remember. Even before I had version, I had version 8 or 6, it was sent uh, to me by Ubuntu. So since then, uh, we had an app store, we could get apps from out of the store. And I'm going to start up this app store one more time because I see that it just crashed on me there. So we're going to open it one more time. And the coolest of it is if it crashed once, it doesn't mean it's going to crash the other time again, the next time again. So sorry for the inconvenience there but here you can see that also these apps are, are completely updated you can see the 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 music section all the app uh, all the all the icons and the sections they are kind of having new new i yeah what can i say new icons also in the app store you will see that all these apps have new icons you see that and probably that goes with the team but I say well done and uh, Trebel, very nice there Linux Mint 18. Up here we can uh, also go ahead and install Kodi. For those that love Kodi, you can uh, get it straight from out the App Store. It always works. And if it if it's not working for you, then probably yeah there is something not good then you must fix so uh, yeah you can also watch uh, uh, these these stations straight from uh, from the websites so Kodi is effect just a tool uh, effect if uh, if you don't want to use Kodi you can also find these websites that are hosting these streams just go there and tune in and it will play straight up for you about codex don't forget to uh, because uh, the codex are not being delivered automatically anymore so make sure to select to install this codex whenever you're gonna do the installer when you're gonna install Linux Mint don't forget to select that But the coolest is as well, if it's going to play a stream for you and there is no codec available, it will automatically find the source where to download and install the codec for you. So this is like, yeah, very special. You know what is going on here. I really love this, 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 this treatment that Linux Mint is giving to, to his users. You know, on every other system it will say codec not installed, you go get a big one. You know, but these guys they come with a solution they immediately come with a solution and tell you hey um, click here to install this and these codecs are available would you like to install uh, one of them and the one that is the most common one will be uh, selected for you so you don't have to go and choose which one should I take you know these guys are making it kind of easy for you and that is also needed because uh, Linux is not such an easy operating system. It's easy if you're going to use it with, with, with the commands of other people. You know, uh, for instance, this, this screen recorder that I'm using right now is from, uh, from uh, Martin Bart. And he created it. It's called Simple Screen Recorder. It's really the very best. I cannot find a better screen recorder than this. So, um, yeah, you can see the quality, it's, it's in full H, or HD, good quality, very clear, very beautiful, very lovely, very stable. You can also record sound. So, um, yeah, that's kind of cool. So you can 
easily make some um, some manual or some explaining video you can get started immediately with your Linux Mint because the tools uh, can be installed really easy it's a matter of going to the website and uh, going into the terminal and just copy and paste these commands and suddenly uh, you will have some abacadabra screen uh, running and you will feel like really smart <laughs> and then after that uh, you will find in your music section that the recorder is installed and that goes only for special installs you know so most things you can find easily out of the app store only thing you have to do is hit install so that is not a big deal okay so uh, I'm installing stuff now and uh, well I think I showed uh, more than enough so let's get back to the studio well peeps I hope you enjoyed the show um, I did not show everything there is so much more that I could show uh, about Linux Mint 18 it's really beautiful it's very easy to customize and most of all it's very stable um, if you want to download this just go to linuxmint.com or .org I'm not even sure uh, I will put some link in the description and uh, go ahead test it uh, leave me your test results in the comment section and of course um, let me know what you think and let me know how you modded your system uh, send me some pictures and maybe I will show them in another video uh, when we're gonna talk and continue this Linux Mint project. Thank you for watching once again and love to see you in my next video. Subscribe.